Hey Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading for the month of March. Uh, please take this as like guidance and sense of awareness. So if a situation does come up or the situation does come up, you can be better prepared to, to handle the situation. Not, not necessarily the future or this is exactly how it's going to happen. Because it very well might, might not. Um, if you like, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see what messages we get. I'll start off with the Oracle card and then we'll go into some tarot. Confidence is your key to success. Step outside of your comfort zone. Expect powerful change. Something here requires confidence, requires for you to step outside of your comfort zone you're going to be expecting some type of powerful transformation change Let's see Spirit, let's just do that for the sign of Sagittarius the sun moon rising sign of Sagittarius for the month of March any messages to Sagittarius to know about it? Love, March, anything about them and their person, person of interest. The tower with the three of pentacles, which means collaboration, and five of swords. I mean, sorry, five of wands, which is conflict. A situation is coming down. It's definitely a collaboration that you have been working hard on with someone. You were collaborating with someone, so it's a partnership. So there is a partnership here that is. In a tower moment, I don't want to say it's down yet. It's in a tower moment, but which means you're in a you're in the fighting phase. You're battling. You're arguing. You're defending yourself, defending your beliefs. That might be why you need to have confidence in your key to success. Queen of Cups, the world, and the High Priestess. <laughs> wow. The Queen of Cups is, she's in control of her emotions. This is also can be a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's the only person that's on the board right now. Uh, so it can be a water sign she's in control of her emotions she can balance everything that is needed to be balanced she's in tune with her sensitive side she's in tune with her feminine side and then you have the world which is new beginnings and then you have the high priestess this is intuition this is, you just know you just know that the situation is 
the new beginning, the new the new situation. It's coming after the world. So it's like there's a new beginning. You're in control of your emotions. The tower moment's happening. There's something that, that you're arguing about. And I'll break that down. Let's see if it's gonna keep if, if that's gonna keep going or if that's gonna be ending of some sort. And then the next three cards out is that you you're in a new i'm gonna guess that this is like your maybe it's your type of energy like you're in a very loving like emotional type of energy and you know compassion and and calm and you're being very calm about the situation because uh, you're being hopeful for a new beginning and you, or you know that there's going to be a new beginning you have an idea you have a hunch that something is going to change because the, the high priestess is intuition. Like you know something's different. You know something's up. You know what's going on. Your intuition is telling you something's going on. Three of Wands. Temperance and Seven of Swords. Three of Wands, Temperance, Seven of Swords. This is you. There is a situation that is coming down of some sort. It's coming. It's coming down in a collaborate. It's a partnership that's coming down. Let, um, can't necessarily say if it's ending or if it's not. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and Judgment. This is you, you're in a situation that that's having a tower moment. It's not necessarily going to be ending. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and then Judgment. You are in a you are you are having a you are reflecting on this relationship. You the Queen of Swords is very sharp. You're clear minded. Like you you you, you either you are clear minded or you guys are you're 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 planning a. You're planning to fix something here because you have the seven of pentacles, which means you're planning for long-term plans. You're planting your seeds so that you can that you can have long-term goals later on in life. With the tower moment, so it's the tower moment. It's collaboration and you're in an arguing phase, but you, you, realistically, It's not. This isn't necessarily ending. You're trying to fix this. You want. You want judgment. You want a clarity. You want, or you want clarity in this situation. You want long-term goals. So you're being very. You're going to be very vocal about, you know, what's going on. What? Where? Where do we stand? Who are we? What are we doing? Um, you are very. You're being very, very calm about this situation, Queen of Cups. You are very hopeful for new beginnings. I. I New beginnings. I almost feel like you want you want something new. You want this to change. You want you want a new beginning. Yeah, yeah, you do. Strength, eight of swords, and the chariot. You want. You're being very strong and you are at your last resort. You're at your last whim and you want to go on a journey. You're playing the victim here and you want to go, you want to leave. You want to be out. You want to peace out. You're on the chariot. You're all up in your emotions. This is the cancer card. You're all up in your emotions and you want you know that there's going to be change. You know that something is, is changing. And we 
we have? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Temperance, and Three of Wands. Seven of Swords is trickery. It's illusions. And then we have Temperance, which means you're balanced. You're 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 out of you're out of you are balanced. Your mind, body, spirit, your third eye is open. You understand what's going on. You have you have clarity. You're being very patient. You need to be careful with this trickery, though. Trickery, deception, tactics. Oh, you're ta oh, you are planning your way out. You are planning your way out. You are looking ahead and you want rapid growth and you are planning your escape. There is a situation that you are being very calm about that you are planning your way out of. Clarify the seven of swords. Hanged man. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You are gonna you want change. You are planning your way out. Let me clarify temperance. The moon emotions. You need to be very patient. And you're being very, oh, you're doing this with your emotions. Your heart is definitely over your head here. You know, you, you, you with the high priestess here uh, and, and the chariot underneath, like, it's just like, you know that this journey is, is over. You know this journey is ending. You know that this needs to be, you need to look at a long-term goal. You have a bigger desire. You have a bigger desire. Three of Wands. Can you clarify this? Three of Wands. releasing something here with the fool you want new beginnings five pentacles is so I walk you could could be walking away from a difficult situation that might have been bad it also could be like like insecurity like you're not you're not really insecure with you're being very you were insecure with yourself but then you have death rebirth everything anything anything that ends must anything any new beginning has to die first in order for something new to take place. So definitely the situation here that is slowly coming down. You are being very, very calm and emotional about this. Um, but you know, you know that it's time. You know it's time for it to go. You know that time's up. Let me pull an animal spirit for you. Any messages. Animal spirit for Sagittarius. Any advice? Dove spirit, be peace. 
what I get with this is like you, this the relationship, this the situation is 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 going to be leaving peacefully. Even though this trickery is here, but it's more of like you're just planning, you're strategically planning a way out. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're tricking your way out because you have the hangman here. And temperance is right after that, which is your card. You 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 are strategically planning your way out, but this whole relationship is is gonna leave you at peace. It's not it's not going to be a bad one for the books. It's, 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 it's ran its course. You, 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 the high priestess, you know that it's time. Give gratitude and grace. Just be thankful for that relationship that you had. That you had and now you want to let go. I don't see that there being, it's not going to be, it doesn't seem like their energy is like, Oh my God, this, that's the worst breakup ever. Like it's not, it's not going to be that type of situation. Like, and you already know that. Trust in divine detours. So intuitively, this is supposed to happen. Like this is just meant to be. This is just meant to separate. It's meant to be that way. Confidence is going to be your key to success and you need to step out of your comfort zone. Step outside of your comfort zone so that you can expect um, so you can expect a powerful change to come out of this. Give gratitude, be thankful for what you have now, be thankful for the relationship. Everybody we meet, we, we meet for a reason. Um, everybody that's been brought into our life is there for a reason. And just be thankful for that and move and move forward. I hope this message resonates with you, Sagittarius, for the month of March. If it does, please like, share, subscribe, and I look forward to doing readings with you again. Bye.